What's happening guys, it's B Rad, and we are back with another episode of the TOTS RTG. So obviously as it stands at the moment, Team of the Season isn't out. I believe Team of the Season Live is out this evening. Seems to be the thing that's been leaked. Some very interesting looking cards and I think I'll be doing Team Takedown and some other things, pack openings and stuff around it. But it'll be interesting to see. What I have been doing in the meantime though is obviously grinding out some of the content. So obviously, I, you know... There's, we're still at a phase where there's still a lot to do um but we've got 20 packs they're all a variety of sort of random packs i'm not really opening them because i just feel there's no point in me opening them right now because as you'll see in my club like for doing playing games and stuff and that we managed to get kessler hero obviously i got de bruyne from the start and then i bought some of these other players to complete some of the moments objectives so for now i'm kind of happy with running that and maybe using these guys as subs you'll see we completed the first evos of verdi and ampadu um but the next ones do rely on them playing rivals and champions so i want to make sure i got a team ready first before i go into rivals and champs um but i will show you the moments so Still got a little bit to do on here, so certainly in this bit here, we've got the uh, ultimate bit to do, but you need a squad of like 86 and higher, which we can't get to just yet. Um, and then we've got the World Tour, where you go through all these leagues and get that done. Um, and then there's just like a set-piece frenzy, as there always is. But we have already got 133 moments stars, which, you know, looking at it when it comes to it, we're going to have some pretty good ones to open here. These these packs are here for 156 days. So they're going to be there well, well and truly through TOTS. And I think that the chances are, like once we complete the rest of the moment stars, that we're probably going to be able to open all of these at the time of TOTS. So it seems pointless in me trying to do it now to get players. But what I have done is I have been doing the daily... Um, the daily bronze and silver upgrades so that I could open up uh, some of the gold player pluses so that we'll be able to get enough players in the club to be able to start chopping away at those foundation SBCs. But I want to open them on here with you guys just in case we obviously get anything at the moment. There are best of informs in packs and things and there's every chance we might get one. If not, we might get somebody to help improve our team. You never know. Um, so I thought I'll open these with you guys and then what I'll do um is i'll go away and submit the spcs because obviously once again i'm not going to open the packs until team of the season is actually here so that will actually come out on the next video which will be sunday night um there isn't going to be any plans to play champs until team of the season is actually here um because there's just no point at the moment we're just going to keep it building and building trying to do objectives trying to grind out objective players things like that as we get into that situation of being able to uh, build a good enough team to play foot champs with. Um, you never know, we might get lucky Friday night. We might pack um, one of the promo players. It would be nice, but I don't hold up much hope. Um, obviously, a little bit of hope in this sense that we got a 91 De Bruyne in the first episode, which was a bit of a surprise. Um, but what we do need to do is we do need to start on the rival's grind. So I'm going to let you guys into something here as we get an inform nope baited baited i'm baited i've been baited hi me here i've been baited um so what we're going to be doing when we do the rivals games is something a bit different and i'm hopefully something you're going to enjoy and it's going to be kind of like dynamic gameplay i always think that like most people when they're watching this content they like to see the packs, they like to see discards, they like to see things like that. But they don't particularly like to see much gameplay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give you guys dynamic gameplay. What I mean by that is that when I get the chances created or the goals scored and things like that, I'm going to give you a different way of viewing it. Okay, I'm not going to tell you too much about it because I want you guys to see it and see how much you like it, basically. Um, but it's going to be a new way of viewing it and hopefully will be a much more... Um, much nicer experience on the eyes. Um, but without any further delay, we do need to play Rivals. No doubt, as we've seen in the previous episode, there's going to be a chap tell me about Rivals and how to play it and what I need to do and all these things. Um, so we'll get through that. But what you'll see, hopefully, is me um, evo my players. Harlan's going. He's running all the way. 
Oh, he's absolutely turned him inside out. Never mind. Smith's on the run. Oh, she's been absolutely trimmed out. Smith, Harland, take a step. Oh. Beto into Harland. Take the step, hit it. Come on. We have been all over this guy, absolutely battering him. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes. There we go. Hopefully you guys have just enjoyed that clip as well of the dynamic side of that goal. Um, it's kind of the part that I wanted to add into this to give you guys something extra to see. And that brings us to completing the next stage of Ethan Ampadu. So he now goes up to an 86, looking like a very nice card indeed. Um, yeah, next upgrade gets him to his radioactive. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to go and get our Verdi into the next one. And yeah, once we do these ones, I'll show you the last game as well of this, the same as I did with uh, Ampadu there. He's actually going to go up to a 90 rated. He's, his stats change dramatically when he goes to radioactive, but he does actually go up to a 90 rated card. Um, so yeah, looking forward to seeing what he looks like in the end as well. Okay, so the final moment and final game of this video requires a bit of clutchness, not going to lie. Uh, we've got to win the game as well as play the game with Verdi. We've done the goals but we do need to win this rivals game. So we've come up against, uh, like I, I lost one. Um, let's say I lost double digit goals. Um, clearly not a div nine player, um, but had obviously not played champs uh, or rivals or whatever. Um, because yeah, he was, he had team of the year icons, was fully doing skill moves and things. And um, yeah, it was just a little bit suspect in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to get into the game, do our best to try and get the win. If I don't, then I'll go and get the win in squad battles because obviously we'll then have the rivals section uh, completed and we'll then see the, the next upgrade to Verdi. Right, this is a bit more like it. Got some Galazzo heroes in there, but we have got silvers, bronzes. Okay. I'm feeling a bit more positive. Ball roll, and we're in with Verdi, and he's got it. 1 0. Right, we've actually got what looks like a rubber band situation now. Because this guy over here is just sitting forward. So no point in you guys watching much more of this gameplay because there isn't going to be much more of this gameplay. So yeah, I guess we'll cut to me upgrading birdie. So it turns out waiting for a rubber band uh, game to finish is actually a little bit more strenuous than playing one. Um, but yeah, we managed to get Verdi up to his next upgrade. So 81 pace, 88 pass and 88 dribbling. He looks like he's going to be a really solid cam, probably where I'm going to play him. Um, but hey, we've just got the next Evos to, to be done. They'll be done by the next episode. Um, and the next episode is, is going to see lots and lots of packs for TOTS live. I'm looking forward to seeing if we can severely improve the team. As always, please subscribe to the channel and thank you ever so much for tuning in. I've been B-Rad.